Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video and today, yes, we are digging into yet again an Elite Trainer Box of Paldea Evolved, but this one is the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. This actually will be my first time opening up the Pokemon Center exclusive um, of anything. Uh, it definitely, the, the really the only difference is it has the, uh, the stamp on that promo card, but I wanted to see if this was any better than the other um, Elite Trainer box that we opened. So we won't take too much time lingering on the things like the extras in it and all that fun stuff. Um, we will be getting right into the goodies to see what is different. Um, I don't think the book will have anything different, so we won't bother digging into that. Um, and we won't go through too much of the goodies in there, but we do have the um, the packs. Yeah, I think the dice are exactly the same. Counters aren't any different. I don't think these are any different. We'll look at that promo in a second. The card sleeves. And then... Oh! Did I just... There's two... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Give me two seconds. I was so confused. Okay, so here are our, I think there's nine packs now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11 packs in this. Holy. Or were there 10 in the originals? Anyways, I don't know. Here is the code card for you guys. Now, I had even brought my old, my other promo card to show you guys the difference but you can see here if I can get this darn thing to focus you can see I didn't realize you got both you got the unstamped and the stamped version with these that is pretty cool I thought you only got the stamped version and you could get the other one from the other so you get an extra promo card in these as well so that's awesome that's my very first Pokemon Center stamped promo card super duper awesome and really neat to know that um, but we aren't going to waste any time we're going to get right into the packs so we have 11 whole packs to open up to see what we can get. Um, is it going to be better or worse than the original um, or the normal, I guess, Elite Trainer Box versus um, the Pokemon Center version? So we got Honchkrow, Pikachu, and a Hollow Slacking. So nothing in that first pack. I'm going to see if I can sort kind, kind of sort a little bit off screen. Um, whoops pull up all the cards um, while I'm doing this so that I don't have to spend the time later trying to sort these. Um, and also, yeah, we'll see what kind of hits we get out of the Pokemon Center boxes. Again, as with everything, I've been hearing so many, ooh, a Luxray. I don't have that one yet, um, but we're not going to count any of the hollows because you're guaranteed a hollow. Uh, but yeah, people have been saying that the Pokemon Center has had zero hits. I heard somebody had one hit. I've heard great things. Um, it's it's kind of all over the map with with um, poles and everything. Oh, look at that. Reverse Hollow Freak Coco, Reverse Hollow Sable Eye, and a Glomora. So, so far, no luck on the poles. And we're, we're on the fourth pack here. Um, let's see if we can get some heat, maybe. Um, this set has only been out for a short bit, and it seems like everybody is already excited and on to the next set. Ah, oh, there's our first pull here and this is the Paldean Claude Sire EX. Now give me a second to grab my sleeve. We'll sleeve him right on up. Um, and there's the code for you guys. But yeah, there's already, I guess Pokemon 151 has been released in Japan. People are already pulling cards from it. Um, and they've already announced 151 English. I missed out on the Pokemon Center boxes by like a couple hours to order a couple of them, but that's okay. I will be ordering some. Are you guys excited about 151? Because it feels like we've just got Pelde Evolved and everybody is, ooh, and we pulled a full art trainer, Dendra. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's get her all sleeved up. So that's two hits, not too bad. Um, definitely a nice full art trainer, not the one that you really, really want to pull. Of course, everybody knows who that is, but, um, still a really nice card nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, 151 has been announced and is released in Japanese and cards are, people are going nuts for some of these cards. I am trying to avoid 
everything on social media because I do not want to get spoiled for this. And we pull, <laughs> wow, a revert, no, a, sorry, trainer gallery. Wow, 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 what's in the last spot? Oh, that made me cue super cute. Um, but holy crud, in back-to-back -back packs, we pull two trainer cards, one full art and one, oh, illustration. It's an illustration, right? It's gonna take me a bit to remember what these are called. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Very nice. And we still have five packs to go, so we just, we're just over about halfway done. Just over halfway. So that's pretty cool. Not, not too bad. I must say that uh, I am very lucky on the hits so far because it has been insane on some people's boxes. So there is the card that everybody seems to want is Iono. Um, and we'll see if we can pull something in some more of these packs. Uh, Spirit Tomb is just the holo rare in that one. Um, but yeah, 151. I am trying to avoid all of the spoilers, but there are so many cool things coming out and it comes out, what is it, September or something of this year? I don't know what I'm going to do because we still have Obsidian Flames coming out um, before that. And like, where, where do you, what do you do? Where do you go? How do you determine what you're going to get? Because... 151 seems like it is an insane set. I've only heard good things about it, even though I've been avoiding seeing any cards or spoilers or things like that. Um, but it just seems like it's going to be the hottest set that has been released in, I want to say a couple of years, for sure this year, 100%. I love this Paldean Tauros. I love, love, love this card so much. Oh. And a stable eye. Um, but yeah, it seems like this is going to be the set. And good luck trying to complete it because I've heard about all the different variants and stuff in it is going to be crazy. So tell me, are you excited about that or are you excited more about um, Obsidian Flames? And are you going to try to master set anything that's coming out recently? Like some of the sets seem to have slightly better. Um, prices for most of the singles um except for a couple there's there's one in this set that's just seems to be going up and up and up it's that uh, illustration rare magikarp which is one of the coolest cards i have seen in a long time um last pack holy red okay uh but yeah what are you most excited for and are you going to try to complete to yourself a master set of any of the new sets coming out that seems like an almost impossible task, especially if you want to pull them. Um, on to our last, oh, I see gold. I see gold, guys. Okay, 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 Bravery Charm. We pulled gold, a Quack Laval EX Full Art Gold card. Oh my goodness, this has been a, honestly, very, very nice leap trainer box from the Pokemon Center and just a Hydreigon in that last spot. So let's get our gold duck. Uh, sleeved up and we will take a peek at our hits alrighty guys so we only got we well I, I say only got four hits but we got four hits in this Lee trainer box which honestly really really well really really nice because I mean this is the lowest the lowest pull that we got was this uh, Paldean Claude Sire EX card. I still love the hollow foil patterns on the EX, like the double hollow. Um, we did get this one full art trainer card in Dendra. Very nice. I do like that card a lot. Um, we pulled gold. We got Quack Laval EX gold card. I really like the texture on these cards. It's very, very nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the full art Pokemon or the gold, but honestly, the it makes the blue pop for sure. But my favorite card actually is this Giacomo um, illustration rare of the um, uh, of his card thing brain. I had a dirt moment. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favorite card out of all that was pulled. Not the illustration rare that I would have wanted. Um, I'm trying to think of what the name of my. Give me two seconds. Okay, okay. It it took me a few seconds. I really want Grusha. That is the um, the illustration rare that I want, not the Iono, although that looks really, really cool. I really like Grusha. I love the character design, and that is the card that I really like out of this set. That is my chase, other than the Magikarp, which we all know everybody seems to want at this part, at this point. 
Uh, but anyways, that is our opening of an Elite Trainer Box um, from the Pokemon Center. It's insane. I learned something new about the Elite Trainer Boxes at the Pokemon Center. And we got some awesome, awesome pulls from our, our box. Honestly, I am very happy with it. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this opening. We are going to be opening up um, the rest of the new stuff that came out for Paldea Evolved. There are the three pack blisters, and I'm going to try to do shorts again. If I can get it to go on the shorts tab, that would be awesome of the single pack blisters with the promo card and coin. Um, but that's going to be it for this opening, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!